Hello everyone, welcome to another one of my videos. Today I am going to be giving you guys an updated salon nail station tour. I have moved to a new salon, it was like about a year ago now, and I still haven't filmed like an updated tour. So I am super excited, I'm gonna do that today. Just a reminder, I am an independent contractor, so I, I rent an area within the salon. So I do not actually own the salon. I will be briefly showing you the salon and then I'll be showing you my station and focusing on that. But I just wanted to let you guys know and remind you guys that I don't own the salon, so the stuff in the salon is not mine. So if you have questions about that stuff, I may not be able to answer them for you because I'm not sure where um, they're from and stuff like that. Some of the stuff is might be similar to my last nail station tour, but that was probably a year and a half ago now, and I have updated some stuff quite a bit. So I'm super excited to show you guys. It's been highly requested, and I will make sure and link everything down in the description box below. So if you have any questions at all, make sure you check that first. I'll try to put all the websites in there and everything linked in the description box for you guys. So let's get started. Okay, so this is what you see when you first walk into the salon. We have the front desk right here and all of the hair products over here. And to the left, we have a nice waiting area for clients with some nice, big, comfy chairs. They are so comfy. And we have two hair stations. So we have one over here and then we have one in this room over here. And then if you turn to the right, you see my station right here. And over here, we kind of have a drink area for clients. If you walk through here, we have a room that is for an esthetician. And we kind of have another little waiting area over here for clients. Then we have the shampoo bowl in the back over here. And back here is actually kind of like our little break room, kitchenette, and sink and all that stuff back there. So this is my station right here. There's a lot of room for myself and for my clients. It's so nice. And everything in this area is mine except this bookcase right here. That was already here when I got here and I used it for my products, my retail products. So everything else is mine except that little bookcase unit in the corner. So first off, for my pedicures, I have this Volava chair, and it's super nice. It has a heat and massage function within it, and everything is adjustable. So you can lean the chair back, you can actually pull out where the clients would put their feet. If you have a client that is really tall, this actually pulls out so you can adjust that as well and this chair swivels all the way around so it's super easy for clients to get in and then they can turn the chair back around and put their feet in it also comes with this tray for clients if they want to you know read a magazine i have some who bring their laptop and they work while they get their pedicure and there's some spots for like drinks and different things like that and the tray actually completely turns and swivels around also the pedicure bowl so this part normally i don't have this out but i brought it out just to show you guys so this is a the pedicure tub and then they have these liners that you put inside so after each client i toss the liner and then i disinfect and sanitize everything so it's super sanitary and clean and then underneath is where you set the pedicure bowl and this actually also has heat and vibration in it so it keeps the water warm so the water doesn't get cold when you're doing a pedicure which is really nice 
and yeah so far i love this chair i've had it now for about a year and it's been really nice um i love all of the different functions in it and how you can customize and clients can really relax and lean back um, i do want to get a nice blanket and maybe more of like a nice fluffy pillow or something to put on there but so far it's working out great and then also it comes with the chair for you to sit on. I also have the extra UV lamp for doing gel toes. So that is my pedicure setup. If we come over here to my retail section, I have my daddy lotion, which is my favorite lotion and oil, the daddy oil. I have a cute little decorative letter K that is from Home Goods, And then I also have a picture of me and my husband at our wedding. Then the second row, I have some business cards, some daddy lip balm, daddy scrubs, and then the daddy oil. The top row, I have some foot logics and this little container. I think this is from Ikea and I got some nail brushes for my clients if they want them. And this cute girl boss sign, which is also from Home Goods. And at the very top, I have two frames from Home Goods that hold my license, and a, there is a speaker for music. Now, for my desk, um, this is the same desk that I had in the last nail station tour. And this desk is from, actually, the tabletop itself is from Glam Up Nails. I will definitely put the link in the description box. I don't have the dimensions for it, but I know they are on the website. So if that's what you are looking for, check out their website, Glam Up Nails. And it's super awesome. It's made to fit over these Ikea Alex drawers, which I'm sure a lot of you have seen. They are super popular among nail techs and makeup artists and stuff like that. It does come in different finishes, so you don't have to have the white marble. You can pick something else and it is cut in the center so you actually can sit closer to your clients the problem that i had before with the drawers so i love these drawers they hold a lot of stuff but the problem is that the ikea tabletops are the same width as the drawers and it is just too wide to sit across your clients with you end up really reaching or your clients don't reach far enough and you're constantly pulling at their hands and stuff like that so this desk is super nice because it's cut in on both sides so that way you and your client can actually sit closer but you still get to have these awesome drawer units my client chair is from ikea and my chair is from home goods I do not give my clients swivel chairs because the last thing that I want is for them to be swiveling and moving around. But I myself, I do have a chair on wheels that I can turn and swivel, but I do not give that option to my clients. That is way too much freedom. So for the top of my desk, I have all of my swatches and I have these on a necklace holder. This is from Target. I keep the swatch ring that has all of my newest colors on the top. So if my clients ask, oh, do you have anything new? I always have this ring, which is on the top, and it has all of my newest colors. So every time I get new colors, I put them on this ring right here, and I just know which one it is because it's like the tiniest uh, ring up here. But I put them on here, and then after about like a month or so, then I filter them into all of these and put them in their color coordinated spot. So that's how I do my swatches. It seems to work pretty well. I do have the Accents lamps, which are their, which are their hybrid pro lamps. They have a 10 second, a 30 second, and a 60 second cure on them. I do, they are very strong lamps. They work very well. I do like that you can push it, the button, and it will turn on. So when you're doing swatches, if you have a lamp that only turns on when the sensor is triggered, that is kind of 
frustrating because you have to put like a file or something that will trigger that sensor. But this one, you can actually turn it off and turn it on just by the button. So that is really nice. For my armrest, this is from Petite Nails. I saw this armrest on Isabel May Nails YouTube channel. If you don't follow her, you definitely need to. And I love this armrest. It sits up a little bit higher because that helps me not have to reach over so far because my hand, the client's hands are sitting up a little bit higher so I don't have to slump over as much and I can kind of have a little bit better posture. And it's very wide so clients can feel like they can rest on it. It's not wobbly, it's very sturdy. Definitely recommend this armrest from Petite Nails. I do have a little cell phone holder right here from Amazon where my clients can put their cell phone while they are getting their nails done. For my overhead lamp, this is the Daylight Slimline Lamp, and this is their version, I think it's called the S, because it's a little bit shorter, so it's a little bit smaller. They actually have one that's about double the length, but this one works perfectly fine for me. I don't really need one that big. And for my dust collector, I just got this one from the Nail Hub, I believe, Isabel May Nails. I think she also has this one. And I have found that it works very well. So this one is called the Zephyros. Again, it's from the Nail Hub. I'll put all the links down in the description. And you place a filter on top of this part and when you're filing the dust collects on the filter and then you throw it all away so you don't have to worry about the mess of dust collecting and cleaning it and all that stuff it's super easy and i have found that i have a lot less dust on my desk and stuff like that with this so i do recommend this this is for my e-file this is from atwood industries and i have a different actually e-file and hand piece. These are not normally the ones that go together, but I actually uh, asked for this one instead because it's a little bit lighter, lightweight, so it's a little bit easier to use, but both very good quality from Atwood. This is a little, what do you call these, like Lazy Susan thing. I think I got this at Storables or Storageables. I will try to search for it and put it in the description box if I can find it, but it pretty much has everything that I would use on a regular basis for almost every client. So I have my lotion, oil, alcohol, acetone, hand sanitizer, and I have all of my like primers and top coats and bonders and base coats and different things like that right here. And in the middle I have like some scissors and this file I don't use on clients, but I use it to edge all of my new files that I use on everyone. I've got some like a pen and like a spatula and just kind of some things that I might need working on different clients. So it's super easy for me. I've actually had this thing for like, I want to say like four years now and I don't feel like I ever need anything else because it just makes it really easy to be able to spin and kind of use it like that. So I just keep all that stuff in there and then I try and keep the rest of the desk pretty clean. As for my nail polish shelves, I did a video on these a couple months ago where I did like a vlog putting them up. So check that out if you want a little bit more in-depth information about the shelves. And again, Isabel May Nails, she's the one who posted these first and came up with the idea and it is an awesome idea. I love it. So these shelves are picture ledges. They are from Ikea. And then this is from Home Depot. This is a cord cover from Home Depot. So you can create tiers on your shelves. So it has worked so nicely. I have so much more room and it just looks really nice and professional and clean. I love it. So on my shelves, I've got all of my magpie glitters, some wildflowers glitters. I've got the magpie inkies, the marble tints. The second row is all of my accents Luxio colors. Third row is magpie and then some kind of other various brands that I have. The very bottom is my luminary, some other various brands and then all of my stamping polish at the bottom. I will probably eventually add like one more shelf down here, 
but so far this has worked so nicely. I absolutely love this. Such a great idea and it just looks so nice. Over here, this is another Alex drawer unit. It's just like the bare one. And on top, I have just my Archon mount and then I have some tissues because I have like seasonal allergies every season. So I have like chronic allergies. So I always have to have tissues nearby just in case. And then I have my Rejuvenate um, wipes, my disinfectant wipes. So that's what I have on this unit. If I am doing a pedicure, I do have like a tray and stuff that I will pull out and I'll usually use this as kind of like my little pedicure setup that I can put everything on while I'm working on my client. So that's everything that's on top of the desk. So let's go ahead and dive into the drawers. Okay, first of all, before I get into the drawers, some of the drawers are not as organized as I would like them to be. So just keep that in mind. But um, so this is the left side of my desk in the first drawer. This is honestly kind of like a catch-all drawer. It has kind of like a pen. Um, this is for your cell phone, for the Archon mount, if I want to use my cell phone, some swatches, I got my dust mask, I have, um, these are brand new Magpie glitters, so I put kind of my new products in here that I still need to kind of highlight in my Instagram or my YouTube, so they are not put away yet, but those are the fun new Magpie glitters in case you want to check those out um i have an allergy uh nose spray just in case yeah so this is just kind of like my uh desk drawer kind of thing i usually have my cell phone in here and my keys and stuff like that if i'm working the second drawer houses all of my gel paints so these are all like accents gel paints magpies and I also have some buttercreams in there. I have my Beamy, Beamy Metal Leaf Gels. I have my Wildflowers, like any type of like an art gel kind of like. So my Wildflowers Pop-Up Gel, Spider Gel, 3D Gel. In the back I have my Cat Eyes, some glass gels, some different kind of accents, color gels my stick it for foil i have my little nail tip stand if i am working on a design or something i keep that there so these are kind of like all of my art gels with the exception of like the buttercreams and some different colors back in here i also have my palettes if i am going to be doing some hand painted art so that's everything in here and these little kind of containers are from ikea as well the next drawer has more nail art supplies so i have all of my chromes these are all my magpie chromes and leaves like gold leaf and silver leaf and stuff in this container right here i have some more chromes in the second container i have my eyeshadow um eyeshadow applicators for chrome, some sponges. I have, these are all of my swatches for my chrome pigments and powders and all that kind of stuff. In this back container, I have some embellishments, some caviar beads. I've got these magpie slices, which are some different like fun metal shapes and stuff. All sorts of different stuff in the back. In the front, I have these magpie stickers that I need to kind of organize and put away. And I also have a binder ring with some of the striping tape on there. So this is a really nice way to keep them so they don't go crazy and stuff like that. So I have all of the striping tape. I got some tweezers for nail stickers and I have some magpie foils that I need to organize, some foil glue, and this is a business card holder. This has a whole bunch of stickers in it, so this is kind of how I've been organizing my stickers. So people want stickers, they can look through this. Um, sometimes I do have to cut the sheets because they are a little bit too big and kind of put them in two different slots. So this is all the stickers. This um, book is from Amazon, 
and this one is from Dixie Plates and this is for all of my foils so it keeps all of my foils organized I try to keep them like color coordinated and stuff like that so that is for foils this little blue kind of brochure holder thing I used to have all my nail stickers in so it's empty right now as I'm kind of like transferring them to this the only thing I found with this is that because it's kind of that cloudy kind of material is like these stickers are actually like holographic silver and you can't tell so I'm debating if I want to get a different one of these and get it in clear more like this one so that you can actually tell if something's like shiny or not but so far it's working fine um so those are in this drawer the next drawer is my stamping supplies i have all my stamping holders with the plates in them and then i have this container that has stampers and scrapers and i have my little clear jelly stamper stamping book to clean your stampers with so all of that all the stamping supplies is in this drawer the last drawer has my airbrush and all of my airbrush colors that I got from a prey and this is the holder for like the stamping gun basically so I try to keep it nice because it is expensive so try to keep that all put together and nice and then I just have some random like extra cords and things these are what go to the dust collector that sits on my desk so this is the filter that you sit on top of it and it collects all the dust I have some extra filters for my dust mask and just some yeah little ring light just some kind of random things at the bottom drawer here for my top drawer on my right side, I have all of my regular gels that I use. So I have my luminary gels and I have my accents gels. So these are the two main gels that I use for everyone. Actually, that's all I use for everyone. Um, this has some nail art brushes, some scissors, my crystal katana, and I have my wipes right here. And then these are all of my gel brushes um there's some tweezers in there and different things sometimes they get a little mixed around as i use them all of my glitter gel brushes um in the back i just have some like extra gels that i maybe don't use that often but i still have them up here but these are like my main gels that i use for everyone the second drawer has all of my clean implements and i have my clean brushes dust brushes I have some other top coats and base coats and some nail glue some foil removers for gel polish I have just this kind of has just some random um, little products in it like I have a tester for my daddy scrub in case anybody wants to try it out these are all of my bits in these cases these are from Erica's and then over here I have forms and some pin some scissors and a pinching tool that I can use if I'm doing like a full set or any sculpting any nail and also these dividers I think they are like silverware dividers or something or maybe they're office dividers but these are also from Ikea and these little boxes are from basically they're from just my local nail supply store they're like those boxes that you get from nail salons sometimes where you keep all of your all of your own like files and stuff in it that's what i have to use for these so because i try to keep everything closed shut so that it's when it's clean it goes in there and it's closed there are holes on top of the boxes to allow like airflow but this way everything stays clean and doesn't get contaminated once it's put back in my drawer this next drawer is all of my Swarovski crystals so I have these containers from Michaels that hold all of my Swarovski crystals and I've tried to categorize them or you know color coordinate them in these little containers here I have some glasses just in case if I remove crystal pixie 
These are really helpful because those things fly everywhere when you remove them, if you remove them with an e-file. Uh, in the back I have little trays, I have some rhinestones that are not Swarovski crystals but they're great for practicing and stuff like that. I have all these little swatches for crystals so if clients aren't sure you know they can always look at this and it gives them kind of an idea of what to do with crystals. I have some embellishments and crystals that need to be put away. They're still in their little baggies that they come in. And I have some gold and rose gold embellishments. I have Crystal Pixie over here, some other crystals from Blue Streak in these little containers, some toothpicks. Um, I was using the toothpicks for nail glue, to put on nail glue, so that's why that's there. Now the next drawer has an empty container that I put my dirty tools in before I before I disinfect them. So it's an empty container. If I am in a hurry, I can just toss something in here and I know that it's dirty and needs to be cleaned and disinfected. And then in the back, these are all of my extra products. So if I have any backup like top coats, base coats, gels, that's all in here. At the very bottom, I have my files, clean files, gloves, some wipes. I have a big round magpie form roll. It was way too big to fit in the top drawer. So I have down here some buffers and I have some extra nail tips and practice tips and stuff like that. So that's what is in the bottom drawer. Now for the bigger Alex drawer unit, the top drawer, I have all of my Light Elegance glitter gels and some color gels over here. The second drawer, uh, it's kind of like a whole bunch of stuff. It's got some backdrops, some glittery papers. I've got some extra frames from Ikea back there. I've got some tack for using nail tips on the stand, the little nail tip stand. I've got um, all about like a binder all about Swarovski crystals that I got from taking the Swarovski crystal class. So just some kind of random stuff in there. The next drawer is all of my loose glitters. My magpie glitters are up on my polished shelves, but I have all of my other loose glitters in here. So I've got a lot from Cordoza Nail Supply. This is like a really pretty holographic rose gold one. So these are spice racks or spice holders from Ikea. And this idea is from Talia's Nail Tales. She is like the queen of organizing her studio. So I loved this idea because these were all just in drawers and box or like, you know, little containers that needed a nice home. So I've got a couple more over here that still need to be organized, but it is pretty much done. A lot of these little containers were glitters that were in little baggies and I actually bought these containers from Amazon and put them in here so now they can be easily seen and used and stuff like that. So um, these are like Martha Stewart glitters in here and these need to be organized still. So those are all loose glitters. The next drawer is where I usually keep like my extra wipes, my files. I need to order more files because I'm getting low. Usually have like three or four packs of files. Um, some buffers, another crystal katana. This is like a little light box for photography or videos if I want to use it. But usually this drawer is stocked full of kind of like back stock items. Next drawer has some random stuff in it. It's got some pedicure masks and this is an extra e-file hand piece so this is really good to have if you ever something bad ever happens to your e-file if you drop your e-file hand piece and it does not work anymore you are going to be out an e-file and for some of us that is going to be very difficult to get clients in and out without an e-file you know you gotta go back to the old school only hand filing which is very difficult so i have my extra hand piece back here so if i ever drop or break or something ever happens to my other one i do have an extra one 
these are picture frames from ikea which i totally recommend if you have these are um like certificates from classes so these are pretty cool i do need to like i thought about putting them over in this shelf over here maybe put one picture frame and i can kind of rotate through some certificates that i have because i don't have any of them displayed at the moment but these are pretty cool because they are magnetic so you can easily open them and put another uh certificate in them and close them back up so it makes it super easy to display certificates i've got some menus i've got these empty erica's bit holders because i feel so bad like throwing them away i don't know what to do with them do you guys have any ideas or things that you use these for or do you just throw them away or recycle them i don't know i feel bad throwing them away i've got some menus some one-time use little flip-flops in case my clients forget flip-flops for pedicures and the very bottom drawer is all of my pedicure stuff this is the only time i use regular nail polish actually Probably 99% of my clients get gel polish on their toes, so I rarely even use this, but I kept some of my regular nail polish because I know not everyone wants gel polish on their toes. So I usually have some more of these. These are the Vosch little pedicure boxes. It comes with like a soak, scrub, mask, and lotion, and so you can buy different scents and use them for your pedicures this is the chocolate scent but usually i have like a lavender or jasmine and maybe like an orange and different scents for my clients to choose from i've got another nail box in here with clean implements for pedicures and this is all of my foot files clean foot files so that is the last drawer in the taller alex drawer unit so that is it for my nail station tour. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a like and subscribe. It would mean a lot to me if you would subscribe if you're not subscribed already. And remember, if you have any questions, check the description box below because I will try and link everything in there. And don't forget to follow me on my social media and I will see you guys on my next video. Thank you. Bye.